What's going on guys and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal Version. I did a little bit of off-screen work and actually managed to catch one more Pokemon, uh, which is a Bellsprout. Um, and I found it back on Route 31 where we just were a moment ago. Um, and I actually want to use that for something in a bit, but not just yet. So first, let's go find the Gym Leader. Earl's Pokemon Academy. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer? If you beat the gym leader here, you'll be ready for prime time. Alright, so here's the gym. Talk to a couple more people. Faulkner, from the Violet Pokemon Gym, is a fine trainer. He inherited his father's gym and has done a great job with it. Let's kick his ass. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. Believe me. If you defeat a champion dream or championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep that in mind. Okay, so we don't want to use any grass Pokemon. Got a few people to beat up here. Before we can get to Faulkner. I believe this first gym is actually pretty simple. Bird Keeper Abe wants to battle. He's only got one Pokemon. Let's go ahead and beat him up with Cyndaquil. Actually, let me switch it up with Pidgey. So I want you to level up. Go Pidgey! Don't peck me. Get him! Ow! Okay, maybe my Pidgey's not going to last very long here. Alright, I'll go ahead and switch you out, if I can. Covered using a berry. Yeah, we'll go ahead and switch back. You're not quite high enough level for this. But you are. Let's go ahead and hit him with a tackle. Nice. You can peck all you want, but you're going down. I'll probably have to do some uh, off-screen leveling at some point. But I won't make you guys sit through that. Because that's no fun. Alright. And Pidgey gained some experience. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is switch up the order here. So we uh, we send Pidgey in first, and then we can switch Pidgey out for Cyndaquil and finish the fight. And that way, he can get some experience. Let's see, can I can give this berry to you? that potion on you. I may have to go back to a Poké Center in between fights here. Here we go. The key word is guts. Those here are training night and day to become Pokémon Bird Masters. <laughs> Come on. That just sounds weird. Alright, Bird Keeper Rod. Who would name their kid Rod? It's an odd name. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and try switching him out immediately. I think he'll still get experience just for sending him into combat. Not 100% sure about that. So let's go ahead and tackle. Boom! Take that. Ow! Good heal. Nice. Almost dead. Of course, we don't have any healing items. That could be a bad thing. Nice. 40 experience. Pidgey went to level 7. Let's 
I got one more. About to use a Pidgey. Now we'll just keep our Cyndaquil out here. Attack! Now it's gonna be a close one for Cyndaquil. Nice. Take that. Success! Birdkeeper Rod was defeated. Alright guys, I'm gonna run back to the Poké Center and gear up and I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, and we're back. I healed up my Pokémon, bought a few potions, and we're ready to go. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokémon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokémon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokémon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokémon. These guys have like a bird fetish. Bum 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 bum. Alright. Send out a Pidgey. And we're gonna send out our Pidgey. But we're gonna switch him out very quickly. Go ahead and use a sand attack, see what that does. Haha! Uh -huh. Lower your accuracy, fool! Ow! I guess bird Pokemon are good against other bird Pokemon? Go ahead and pull you back. Send out Cyndaquil. Ah, you missed. My turn. <clears throat> Where'd the mud come from? Thought we were indoors. Take him out! Come on! Don't lower my accuracy, you bastard. Just keep slapping me with mud. Oh, there goes your Pidgey. Pidgey leveled up. Cyndaquil leveled up. Awesome. Gained a little bonus health. And learned to Ember. About to use Pidgeotto. No, I don't want to change. So yeah, this gym leader is pretty easy. Uh, but I am going to heal up before we start attacking. Go ahead and throw that potion down on Cyndaquil. Used a gust! Ow! Alright, we're gonna hit you with an ember. Pretty sure fire Pokemon were good against wind Pokemon. I'm, I could be wrong, though. Probably am. Hmm, I think we can probably muster up one more attack. Before we need to heal. One. He just keeps using Gust. Noob Sauce. Heal you up. Oh yeah, we got this. Another Ember. Nice. Pidgeotto is down. Gained a bunch of experience. Alright, Leader Faulkner has been defeated. That's our first gym leader down. Darn! My dad's cherished bird Pokemon! Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zypher badge. We got $900 for winning. We sent some to our mother. Sweet. Badge number one. Raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it anytime. Here, take this too. Got TM31. If 
By using a TM, a Pokémon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can be use used only once. TM31 contains Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it is both defensive and offensive. I think I'm going to wait to use that, because I don't exactly know what I want to use it on yet. I'm getting a call from Professor Elm. Hello, Nevs! We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Sure, why not? There's actually someone else that I'm looking for that I want to use that bell sprout with. I call my Pidgey Strawberry. It's definitely not you. She uses the names of her favorite things to eat. For the nickname she gives to her Pokemon, I mean. Well, thanks. Let's see. There's a guy in this town that's supposed to trade a bell sprout for an onyx, and that is what I want to do. I traded my best Pokemon to the guy beside me. Huh? The Pokemon I just got is holding something. What about you? A Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself in battle. Many other items can be healed by a Pokemon. Sure is tough taking notes. I'm taking notes of the teacher's lecture. I better copy the stuff on the blackboard too. Okay, it's none of you. I will find this person. I know he's in a house. It's probably this one. Hey there. The Pokemon you get in a trade grows quickly. If you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. I collect Pokemon. Do you have Bellsprout? Want to trade it for an Onix? Yes, I do. Okay, connect the game link cable. Sure, we'll connect the game link cable. Trading Pokemon. Sprout was sent to Kyle. Kyle! And I'm getting an Onyx in return. Very cool. I believe Onyx are kind of rare. At least early in the game. Nice. Got ourselves a rock Pokemon. I'd say that was a good trade. Yay, I got myself a bell sprout. Thanks. No, thank you. Let's go heal up. <clears throat> Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We can heal you to health. Blah, blah, blah. Healing up. Good stuff. Hi there. Nevs, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Sure. Nevs received egg. I found an egg. Give me an egg. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Nevs, you're the only person we can rely on. Please, call Professor Elm when that egg hatches. And I believe that egg takes some time to hatch. 